Footage of Donald Trump boarding Air Force One went viral after a gust of wind opened a flap of hair, exposing a disturbing pink bald spot. Ugh. Now after I saw this, there was one thing that popped into my head. That Star Wars scene where you get a quick glimpse of Darth Vader without his helmet. Exactly like that. Gross. Right now, Donald Trump's jaw-dropping bald spot is absolutely everywhere. For example, here's a gift that's already received half a million views and at least 12,000 upvotes via Reddit. It's also, of course, been the subject of jokes on late night talk shows. Looks like what would happen if you rolled a cantaloupe around on the floor of a dog groomer. Now, Trump's hair has long been a subject of scrutiny and wonder. Many have called it a toupee. Others have defended the Donald, claiming instead that it's just the world's worst comb over. Vice even recently posted this speculative illustrated step-by-step -step guide to Trump's hair. It's really been through a lot over the years. Believe me. My name's Michael Credden coming at you with a top five list. This one's all about the thing on Trump's hat, where human hair should be. Coming into the number five spot, let's talk about his history of hair drove malfunctions. Back in November, this image made its way onto Reddit with the title, it would be a shame if this picture of Trump's hair made its way around the internet. Of course, his hair's been caught lacking in many, many photos in the past. Let's take a quick look at some of the worst Trump hair fails of all time. Trump's hair also made waves on Reddit a couple months ago when someone posted this Photoshop picture of Trump with normal hair. GQ also made a video about how they would like to make over Trump, and here's what they suggested for his hair. Of course, Trump's hair has always been mocked, but it received more attention since 2016, when for some reason, it became a major campaign issue for the president. In other words, the man of the toupee. This is on the front page of the New York Times. I don't wear a toupee. Trump's detractors made fun of Trump's hair, often calling it a toupee. In response, he decided to have people touch it, <laughs> just to prove that it was really his. Is it mine? Look. It is. Say it, please. Yes, I believe it is. Thank you. Come on, Barbara, get over here. Barbara Walters to do. Now you're gonna mess it up for this interview. No. Okay, I'll take some of it, darling. Well, but it's so it's so nicely done. Yeah. No, it's all his. I yeah. mean, I've never doubted no, it. <laughs> CNN and others have also made an issue of Trump's hair during his presidency, criticizing his use of the hair growth drug Propecia. I don't use that shit. I'm all natural, baby. It's like a helmet. It's a drug that reduces hair loss, but it has side effects. What do you do? Keep your hair on your head and you're sexier and you look better or and you don't have a, a libido? A hair raising choice. Yeah, honestly, I don't think reducing Trump's libido is gonna be a problem. Nothing about Trump's hair is really worth serious discussion. It doesn't belong in a conversation about politics, but coming in at number three, Trump's hair does belong in a conversation about animals. You know what they say, it's a jungle out there. And if you're Donald Trump, it's a jungle up there. You know what I mean? His hair's been compared to all sorts of animals, dead fox, dead rat, really anything dead and fuzzy. Also, a bird's nest. His hair looks like a nest of birds. His face is as orange as his hair. His hair and overall look? Well, it's even led to lawsuits. I made a joke about his father being an orangutan once, <laughs> and he marched into court with his birth certificate and sued me. But of course, Donald Trump's hair is not a bird's nest, orangutan hair, or fuzzy dead thing. The animal it's most like is this. This is called the Southern Flannel Moth Caterpillar. It's also known as the Pus Caterpillar, the Asp, the Italian Asp, Wooly Slug, Opossum Bug, Pus Moth, Tree Asp, or Asp Caterpillar. It often is found in eastern U.S. swing states like Florida and Virginia, as well as parts of Central America and Mexico. They're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. Believe it or not, the Trump hair bug is also dangerous. Its fur contains venomous spines that can cause painful reactions upon contact with human skin. So you might not want to do this. 
not the only ones making fun of Trump's do. Coming in at the number two spot, Ivanka makes fun of it as well. According to Michael Wolff's book Fire and Fury, even the Donald's eldest and best daughter Ivanka would mock her father's famous comb over. She treated her father with a degree of detachment, even irony, going as far as to make fun of his comb over to other people. Michael wrote, She often described the mechanics behind it to friends. An absolutely clean paint, contained eyelid after scalp reduction surgery, surrounded by a furry circle of hair around the sides and front from which all ends up drawn up to meet at the center and then swept back and secured by a stiffening spray. Oh shoot, that, that's actually really sad. It's sad that she makes fun of him when he loves her so much. What did he ever do to her? Oh wait, I know. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it! Oh, it's so weird! <laughs> What's the favorite thing you have in common with your father? Either real estate or golf. Donald, with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate that. Part. By the way, another creepy thing Trump apparently said about his daughter was comparing her to Stormy Daniels, a lady he slept with. According to her infamous In Touch magazine interview, Stormy said, He bragged about his daughter quite a bit though. He was very proud of her, which is nice. He told me once that I was someone to be reckoned with, beautiful and smart, just like his daughter. That brings us to our number one spot, because yes, the hair was part of that Stormy Daniels scandal, so here we go. In case you missed the news, Stormy Daniel, the adult film star, was allegedly being paid to keep quiet about her affair with Trump during his run for president. She detailed the experience in an interview with In Touch magazine, and of course his hair was a topic of conversation. According to the full transcript they published, Stormy said, We were talking about all sorts of things. I remembered he asked me, like, I gotta ask you a question, and I don't want you to get offended. And I was like, trust me, you can't. I was expecting some sort of vulgar question, and it wasn't. It was something about how much money I made off of the royalties or something. And then I remember saying to him, okay, well I have a question for you, and it is offensive. And I asked him about his hair. I was like, dude, what's up with that? And he just laughed and he said, you know everybody wants me to get a makeover and I've been offered all this money and all these treatments. And I was like, what is the deal? Don't you want to upgrade that? Come on, man. He said that he thought that if he cut his hair or changed it, that he would lose his power and his wealth. And I laughed hysterically at him. He took it pretty well. He was like, yeah, yeah. My wife even did my son's hair just like that, as a joke. Oh, poor President Trump. His daughter makes fun of his hair, his wife makes fun of his hair, even his mistress. But before you feel too bad for him, just remember that he's somehow still the President of the United States and a billionaire. My name's Mike McCredden, I'm gonna wrap this up right here. Let me know what you think of Donald Trump's hair in the comments down below. Also check out our top five playlist where we do a lot more videos like this. I picked another one out just for you, so there you go, two to pick from. All right, I'll see you guys in another video. Book. Also, let me know what you think of my hair. I, some people have been going like, it's great. Appreciate it.